Many people are unaware of the differences between alligators and crocodiles. In this video, we will look at the 10 main differences between these two massive and terrifying water-dwelling lizards. Number 10. Scientific Classification The term crocodile refers to any species belonging to the Crocodilia order. However, True crocodiles belong to the Crocodilinae subfamily. Other families in the order Crocodilia include Alligatoridae and Gavialidae. Alligators belong to the Alligatoridae family. Consequently, they are only a family within the broader group of crocodiles, since this latter term can define a grouping of different species. In other words, Alligators can be called crocodiles, but not all so-called crocodiles are alligators. If you compare the specimens that belong to the Alligatoridae family with other species and families within the Crocodilia order, you can notice significant differences. Number 9. Behavior Alligators, while definitely still dangerous, are relatively timid compared to crocodiles. An alligator will generally try to escape if approached by humans, usually headed for the nearest water. The only time that wild alligators will attack humans is if they unexpectedly are disturbed, provoked, or are trying to defend their young, or also perhaps starving. Alligators are instinctively afraid of humans, but can lose some of their fear with regular human contact. Except in controlled conditions, feeding them is almost always a bad idea as they will lose some of their fear and see humans as a source of food. They can also mistake small children and pets such as dogs for prey. Crocodiles, on the other hand, are much more bad-tempered and far more likely to attack humans, even unprovoked. Australian saltwater crocodiles are generally considered one of the most dangerous in the world, followed by Nile crocodiles. American crocodiles, on the other hand, are one of the more timid types that you will find and rarely attack humans. In the US, you are more likely to be attacked by an alligator than a crocodile, although attacks by either are extremely rare. Number 8. Speed on land and in water, crocodiles are usually slower than alligators. Both can move quickly on land, but for only short distances. They can both gallop or sprint, but only do so when threatened and for short periods of time. A crocodile can reach speeds of up to 9 miles per hour, while an alligator can reach speeds of up to 11 miles per hour. In water, they're both faster and more agile, using their long, muscular tails to propel their bodies forward. When crocodiles swim, they can only reach 9 miles per hour, while alligators on the other hand can reach up to 20 miles per hour. Number 7. Color. Crocodile hides tend to be more of a light tan or olive color, whereas alligators are usually a dark blackish gray. The exact shade of an alligator's skin depends on the quality of water that it swims in. Tannic acid from overhanging trees will make them darker, while algae will make them greener. Number 6. Size A full-grown crocodile will likely be several feet longer than an adult alligator. An adult crocodile can grow up to roughly 19 feet long, whereas for alligators, the maximum length is around 14 feet, which is larger than some crocodile species, but not bigger than the largest of crocodiles. The largest crocodile species is the saltwater crocodile, which can get up to at least 17 or 18 feet long and some rare individuals exceed 20 feet after many years. The African dwarf crocodile, in contrast, doesn't grow larger than 4 or 5 feet. Number 5. Their teeth. Crocodiles can't hide their teeth, but alligators' teeth are sometimes hidden when their mouths are closed. 
When their mouths are closed, the snouts of an alligator and crocodile are easy to tell apart, as the alligator will have none of its bottom teeth visible, whereas the crocodile's lower teeth are always visible. Crocodiles often have many visible teeth sticking out of their lips, giving them a very jagged looking smile. But since an alligator's upper jaw is wider than it is lower, it can hide all of its teeth when its mouth is closed. Number 4. Habitat Crocodiles prefer water that is more saline or salty than the alligator's preferred freshwater habitat. Crocodiles have special glands in their tongues which excrete excessive salt from their bodies. This means that they are capable of spending days or even weeks at sea. Alligators also have these glands, but they don't work as well, so they usually stick to freshwater habitats, although they can sometimes be found in brackish water, which is a mixture of both salt and freshwater. This difference explains why crocodiles have managed to spread across the islands of the Caribbean and alligators have not. Number 3. Location Alligators live only in the southeastern US and eastern China, whereas crocodiles can be found across the world in Africa, Australia, Southeast Asia, North America, South America, and Central America. If you are in the US, then you are far more likely to encounter an alligator than a crocodile. Although there is an American crocodile species, they only live in the southernmost tip of Florida, whereas alligators can be found all across Florida and Louisiana, as well as in parts of Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, North and South Carolina, Texas, Oklahoma, and Arkansas. Alligators also heavily outnumber crocodiles in the US. There are over 3 million alligators, but fewer than 2,000 crocodiles. Southern Florida is the only place in the world where you will find crocodiles and alligators living side by side. Number 2. The shape of their snout. One of the main differences between alligators and crocodiles is the snout. An alligator's snout is broader and shaped more like a U, whereas the crocodile's is longer and narrower and more of a V-shaped. It is very possible that alligator's snouts are shaped differently because of their diet. For example, such as the need to break open a turtle's shell, whereas the crocodile's snout is more suited to hunting general prey, including fish, reptiles, and mammals. Number 1. Bones. Researchers from Japan have identified what they believe to be another feature that sets the two reptiles apart. Alligators tend to have shorter humerus bones in their forelimbs and shorter femurs in their hind limbs than crocodiles. Misaya Ijima, a vertebrae paleontologist from Hokkaido University in Japan and lead author on the study, measured more than 120 alligator and crocodile skeletons from nearly a dozen museums around the world. Then he analyzed the results using a statistical model. The specimens mostly belong to extinct crocodilians, which is the supergroup that encompasses both alligators and crocodile, as well as caimans and gharials. The differences are small, and not something you could easily spot in the wild, but the findings may provide insights in ways in which the two reptiles move, helping us distinguish between the two.